for the Hawk Walk today because it's so important that everyone support Hawk. It gives help for abused women and children and also is committed to preventing future abuse and violence to women and children. Hawk works in our schools educating our young men and women about healthy relationships. This is the only way we're going to stop this serious problem of family violence, of domestic violence, of violence against women, is through education and through helping the victims to recover. And that's what Hawk is all about. That's what this walk is all about. And we appreciate everyone's support of this wonderful organization. I think the only way that we can really uh, address this issue is by forming strong alliances um, and that we're going to make a stand by saying that uh, abuse towards anyone, whether it's men or women, is not going to be tolerated. And um, you know, when we can uh, make this an issue that won't, where it won't be tolerated, that's when we can really uh, make the change. But it's going to have to be a collective effort. And uh, you know, I, I just think this is a beautiful event. I'm one of the original founders of Hawk, which was 15 years ago, back in 1979. And I'm so proud to see that this is still uh, a functioning agency in Salem. I'm sorry to see that we have a need for it. And unfortunately, not only Salem has a need, but every town and community that we serve uh, needs their own shelter. So this was a great walk. We raised $10,000 more than we did last year. I'm looking forward to next year, but we want the walkers. We want the people. We need the crowd. Maybe next year we'll shoot for 2,000 people. So come join us. We'll see you next year. To know Hawk as a volunteer back uh, in the 80s, and I was a hotline volunteer and a shelter volunteer, and so I got to see firsthand what this organization is all about and how they help women and how they provide a safe place for women who are in abusive situations and want to get out. Now everyone always asks, why do women stay? And if you work a little bit with an organization like Help for Abused Women and Their Children, you find out how complex some situations are. If there wasn't an organization like Help for Abused Women and Their Children, then there would be far more people in abusive situations for a longer period of time. Hawk provides hotline help, it provides safe homes, it has its own shelter, and it really gives women a safe place to go to. And that is why so many women don't leave, because they don't have an alternative. Hawk is the type of organization that provides an alternative and so I'm delighted to be here and hope that you'll uh, join us in our efforts to help women from all over the North Shore. for more people next year. I think we want to increase the corporate sponsorship. We've done incredibly well with local businesses. I mean, I think the fact that we were able to bring as many incentive prizes in from restaurants, people in the area who really said, I want to do something about this and I want to help this effort. 
Um, unfortunately, because there's been so much publicity with the recent deaths of women in the paper, I think that that speaks a lot to people wanting to come out and support us. Uh, and we'd like to continue that. These services are critically needed. I think we have far more work to do, um, and critically, and we will do it if we have more money available for it. So it's an important piece of it. Now, it's used for an number of very important services that we offer a 24-hour hotline. Uh, we do it actually with all of this work, I would say, with 16 staff and a number of about 100 committed volunteers. Uh, so it's a small number of us doing this in Salem. We have a 24-hour hotline. We do individual support, we do individual work with women in the office um, for short-term counseling. We also do support groups. We at this point are up to 10 support groups which are free in the communities that we serve, and that's very exciting. We have a number of um, support groups now for Spanish-speaking women, two a week that we're able to offer, as well as obviously for, for other um, bilingual uh, groups that we offer too. We also have um, a youth outreach program. We saw over 3,000 children, I shouldn't say children, adolescents, adult, young adults in the schools last year, in the middle and the high schools. Our legal advocacy program saw over 1,000 women in the courts. We serve five district courts, and we clearly, if we had another legal advocate, we unfortunately could be seeing 2,000 women. So that's an area where we'd like to raise additional money and have additional services available. We this year just began by having a staff person up in Cape Ann, Gloucester area, and we saw a good representation from that group today at the walk. Uh, and she's available in, from the community to serve women there. And we now have a staff person down in the Lynn Community Health Center, which is very exciting, which is really reaching out to women in, in areas that we have not been able to reach before. So this, all of the money that we raise today go to those services. And, and as I said, we really need to increase those services. So it, as we raise more money, we can put more money back into the community and back into the services for battered women. <laughs> I'm out here today for the Walk for Hawk and uh, along with uh, looks like a couple of hundred other people which is wonderful to see because this is an agency that is really the lifeline for abused women and their children. Um, you know we've uh, heard a lot of things lately about uh, uh, abuse both of uh, s uh, spouse abuse and uh, child abuse and uh, this agency gives women the courage to break out of abusive relationships and to uh, begin an independent life free of abuse. Uh, not only for themselves but for their children as well and as all of us know uh, we need a helping hand uh, uh, to do this uh, and uh, Hawk is a wonderful agency has been here for years has a wonderful reputation and I hope everyone can get behind Hawk so that we can give women and children uh, a new life and a second chance at uh, an independent life free from abuse and hopefully a successful relationship in the future so please come out and support Hawk uh, it's an agency that I have uh, uh, a long time uh, connection with and it's an agency that I believe uh, plays a vital role in this community. Thanks. Great cause. There's, there's a lot of problems out there, and we, and we need to solve them. Texas Tea. the turnout for today's walk it's growing we hope it continues to grow we'd like to raise at least twice the amount of money that we did last year we think this is a terrific community spirited way to get out there raise some funds have some fun uh, and get some money to put uh, to put towards uh, hopefully ending domestic violence we have some terrific uh, prevention programs as well as the uh, service programs that we have traditionally run uh, 
to, uh, to serve battered women and their children. And we hope everybody comes out today and walks. I want you to have a little bit of an, an attitude. I want you to say, 